Okay, so today I am making a spiralized yellow squash with white cannellini beans. Yum. So I'm gonna start by heating my skillet to medium heat. So I'm just gonna let the skillet get a little bit warm. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. You could add more. Um, we do tend to cook light over here. I am definitely not afraid of healthy fats. You know that I'm a huge proponent of them. They are super calorie dense. So just keeping the portions in check is really important. I do like to make sure that my kids are getting enough healthy fats, so they take fish oil, and I also try to incorporate olive oil and avocado wherever I can. Make sure that I'm getting it sort of coating the whole bottom here. And I have spiralized already some yellow squash noodles here. I've put a wider blade on so I get these nice ribbon-like noodles. I just wanna show you how quickly we can throw together these super fast and healthy meals. Because I think that we're sometimes under the assumption that healthy meals at home need to take a lot of time and prep. And I am going to use my good old garlic press. This thing gets a workout, I tell ya. So I'm just gonna press one, it's a big clove of garlic. Here's this little workout in itself. Rawr. Yeah, and then I just kind of cut the ends off and put that in the pan. I'm gonna mix it around with this olive oil, just making sure that the temperature isn't too hot. Olive oil has a fairly low smoke point, so this is just sauteing because none of this stuff really needs to be properly cooked all the way through. I'm just wanting to saute it a bit. So I'm gonna take all of these beautiful yellow squash noodles and dump them in the pan. And even though it looks like a lot right now, they are gonna cook down quite a bit. So I'm literally just gonna put them in here and let them soften up. Saute these yellow squash noodles until they soften up. And then what I've got are some rinsed cannellini beans. They're eaten organic and I'm gonna add them in. I was going to do this with some multicolored quinoa as well, just to make it look really pretty. I don't have any. So for right now, this is what this recipe is looking like. The other thing that I could add in here is a really good quality tomato sauce. If you're cooking for a family and if your kids like tomato sauce, you could even puree some spinach into the tomato sauce just to give it some extra greens, some extra nutritional punch, a nutritional bang, if you will. Then you've got a really well-balanced meal. So we've got protein and fiber, iron with the beans, right? We've got nutrient-dense squash. You could have um, pureed spinach or some other greens. Got some olive oil in here for healthy fat. And after I'm done, I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast because it's gonna add a little bit of a cheesiness to this. This one, the brag, is fortified with B vitamins, which is great for energy as well. So we're gonna make sure to add some of this in here. These are things that I always have on hand. The olive oil, the nutritional yeast, garlic, because I use them all the time. And then I've got some really nice, good quality Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese or other pungent cheeses are an easy way to add a little bit of flavor without having to add a lot of cheese, if that makes sense. Because if we're using really bland cheeses, it's not doing much for the palate. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt. So I like the Himalayan pink sea salt. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this in here. You could add some cracked black pepper too, so good. So this is pretty much done. So in minutes, as always, super fast around here, otherwise it doesn't happen, but let's not be under the guise that we can't make healthy meals in minutes. Literally seconds to spiralize the yellow squash, right? Minutes, if that, to heat up the pan, to put in the garlic, to start sauteing the noodles, the squash noodles. Added some, I'm gonna butcher it again, cannellini, cannelli, I have to look again. Cannellini, cannellini. White beans, white kidney beans, which come in a BPA-free can and have been soaked. No phytic acid. And then I've added some nutritional yeast, I might add a little bit more. And then I'm gonna plate it up and I'm gonna add a little bit of good quality Parmesan on top and voila, dinner is done and I think that probably took me 10 minutes if that. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you make it and let me know what you think. Bye for now.